All right, guys, here is the sausage. We just made this in the video. Here it is all cooked up. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, let, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. They look and smell amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy the recipes. Everything is down in the description box. And I'll see you guys super soon. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm using a lot of dehydrated um, stuff, items for Italian fennel salad. Or, sorry, sausage. I got salad on the bread, apparently. So I have some of our tomato skins that we dehydrated together. A little bit of fennel seed. There's some homegrown parsley there. <clears throat> Gonna add... Some salt. Give me one second to grab my salt. I need to open a salt. And that's one teaspoon. And I grind all this together. Fill that up in a minute. I forgot my rosemary. One second. Sorry about that. I have some. I have my rosemary plant in the house. And I'm just using a real cheap um, coffee grinder here. We're just going to grind this up. Okay. It's a little bit of chili pepper. And I will leave everything down in the description box as well. And this will make really nice sausage. Over the next few days, you guys are going to see quite a few little sausage videos coming out. I'm just going to whiz this up. is done so I'm gonna pause you guys I'm gonna move you around I'm gonna get out the kitchen aid because we're gonna do this the easy way not the hard way and uh, we will get busy making this up all right so we got this ground pork on for 30% off so that is what we're gonna use hmm. one second guys I'm gonna see I can lift you back up here, just so you can see in the bowl. So you'll want your paddle attachment for your KitchenAid, okay? Just going to add this pork in. Because my hope with showing you guys this is if you string across a deal, you know, at the grocery store or wherever, <clears throat> you guys can do this too and make some really delicious sausage for your, yourself or your family. I'm going to add the spices in. We're also going to add, I grated onion this morning. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of grated onion to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a tablespoon of garlic that I grated as well. And now we're just going to close this. And we're just going to turn it on low and we're going to let the mixer do all the work. Super easy. Nothing hard about this. I'm gonna scrape down the sides. I'm 
<clears throat> and we're done. And we are done. So that is Italian fennel sausage. Just gonna take the paddle off here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll make some patties up. And uh, we'll have some real nice sausage in the freezer. I'll be back. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it on this parchment paper. And I'm just gonna make some patties. And I'm going to <clears throat> blast freeze these. Really easy. I'm doing all this in one day. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I got a tickle in my throat this morning. Just because in the season of your life, if things are a little tight, doesn't mean you don't have to eat well. You just got to do it yourself. That's the sausages went up from when Michael and I had gone to the grocery store. They're now $15.99 for six. Six or 12. I can't remember how many was in the pack. <clears throat> and then we stumbled across this deal. Michael found it. And uh, I'm like, I can just do it myself. And then I know what's in it. I can use our herbs from our garden. Super easy. And we can have all different kinds, which I'm gonna show you guys in all the upcoming videos here. But they're really, it's really simple. Two seconds to wash my hands, guys. So now what I do... Keep track of it all. So I just write Italian. Oh, you guys can't even see that. So I just write Italian on the parchment paper over. And then now I'll just lay this on my cookie sheet and I'll just keep stacking them. And you'll see that at the very end as well. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. I almost dropped you. So what we're gonna do now are sliding. Give me one second, guys. Okay, hold on, guys. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is in dewy sausage. Okay, so I'm just going to get everything ready in the bowl. We're going to start with four cloves of garlic-ish, because I grated it all there. Two tablespoons of this grated gar uh, onion. And then we're going to add some paprika. A tablespoon of paprika. Which I don't have much of left. A teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Give me two seconds, guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to do that to you. So, a tablespoon of paprika in there. A half a teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. And 
got to find my thyme. There it is. And one teaspoon of thyme. and an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. I'm not adding chili flakes, cayenne pepper, anything because of the chipotle chili powder, but if you want to, you can. And half, um, an eighth of a teaspoon of sage as well. Now, if you wanted to make this to can it, I would not add the sage to it. I would leave that out. And salt. I need half a teaspoon of salt. Now, I am going to pause you guys again, and I apologize for all the pauses here. Um, and I'm going to move the KitchenAid over, and we will get blending or mixing this up. All right, let's get mixing. And the longer you let this, guys, sit in the freezer, the better it'll be. The spices will meld together better. The reason for the KitchenAid is it just ensures everything is mixed all the way through. And it's easier on you. All right, that's it. Easy peasy. All right. Okay, get every little morsel off of there. Give it a good check. It smells so good. All right, so now I'm just gonna make my patties. Put them on this cookie sheet. Send it out with my kid. To flash freeze, because our big freezer is now in our garage. I don't know if you guys have ever priced specialty sausages, but they are very expensive. Very expensive. And the only difference between these and, uh, and normal sausages, obviously there's no casing, but for those savings, I will I can, I do have casings in the house and I do have a sausage maker, but I want to show so anyone can do this, right? But you can see all the herbs and the spices and the onions. You don't even need a KitchenAid, you can use a hand mixer as well. So to that little under a pound, we got seven sausage patties. All right. 
So that's an Dewey sausage, guys. I'm going to get prepped up and I'm going to clean up some of the spices. I'm not going to use it again and I'll bring you back. Alrighty, so now we're back to the coffee grinder. So in this coffee grinder, I have some more of our tomato skins. I'm gonna add that after. Now I'm going to add, I'm just gonna whiz up some, make it a little smaller, some savory, which is half a teaspoon. There we go. And I am just going to whiz that up when I find my lid. There it is. Now this is going to be spicy sausage. Better if I plugged it in, right? doesn't want to go <clears throat> all right so now I'm gonna get you guys over to the mixer and uh, we're gonna get everything ready to go for the spicy sausage all right guys like normal and start off with the garlic this one is one tablespoon of garlic two tablespoons of garlic <clears throat> sorry of onion One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon chili powder. You could use the chipotle or you could use the um, normal chili powder. This is just for the boys. So I'm going to do one teaspoon of the Chipotle chili powder as well. And then I'm going to add the spices we blended. This way. And eighth of a teaspoon of red chili flake. To be honest, this is fantastic in a lasagna. You don't even know it's spicy. And half a teaspoon of sage. And there it is. And half a teaspoon of savory. Now you could add some cayenne pepper to it if you want, <clears throat> but I added the um, chipotle chili powder. So I will rate, because I have two different recipes for this. I have, this one's really hot, and then I have um, the other one that I have, so I'll rate both. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'll let me put my paddle on. Make sure you guys can see okay and let it go. That's simple. I'm going to make sure this one's really well mixed up. Alright. I'm going to clean off my paddle. Take 
take off my paddle. Now the last one you have seen me do, but I'm just gonna add it to this video so it's all in one video. Yeah, I got one more pop off there. Oh. Like I said, this is just for the boys. Not making any lasagna this this month, so and I'm gonna at the very end, guys. I'm gonna show you all the meals we got done. We're not only just freezer meal, freezer banking, some easy. Most most of the mess is done. You make some rice and you call it dinner and a nice vegetable. You guys got dinner done. So one day a mess, multiple meals. But look at that. Look at the inside of that. I love spicy food. It does not like me. I could eat, but I could eat the spicy food with the best of them. But my stomach will not allow that stuff anymore. Which makes me kind of sad. Because I love the flavor of it. snow today so it's kind of a good day to get stuff done in the kitchen and I feel good today here we go one more more with this one. Yes, I could have weighed it. I, I mean, I realize that, but not everybody has scales. And my ice cream scoop broke. So, there we go. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. All right. I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna make the next one. Alrighty, so now we're gonna do the breakfast one. So I have my extract. Okay, I lost my tea towel. There it is. And then I'm just gonna add this in. This is homemade. Uh, pancake syrup, quarter of a cup of that ish, and if you want, I can leave the recipe down below for that as well. Eighth of a teaspoon of sage. <clears throat> Touch a chili flake, like a pinch. And then half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And kids want a little sweeter. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of brown sugar to that. And we're gonna add this.
Okay, there we go. And mix. So, <clears throat> I can make sure that's mixed up really, really well. Clean up my mess a little bit. And we'll get these patties made and I'll show you the cookie sheet. And then I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Perfect. Alrighty. in the sink. It's a good stir. Just in case. Alright. I think you guys are going to be astonished with how much food we just made. And... <clears throat> Michael and I spent, with the discount, was $14 for all this pork. Okay. The breakfast sausage ones, I do a little bit bigger, simply because we just have eggs with it, or a pancake, or a couple waffles. Um, or on an piece of toast, like an egg sandwich kind of deal. So I won't get as much out of this one. And that's okay. I'll get my daughter to run out these patties to the freezer and then I'll bag them all up. This one's a little bit too big. I do this so often. Every time I have a little bit of ground pork or something and I want sausages, this is what I do, guys. <coughs> well, even when we process our own pigs, I'll stand here for two days making sausages and this is what I do. I do do some in the uh, casings, but for the most part, I just do it like this. This one's a little small, but, but that's okay. It's all food. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna pause you guys, wash my hands, and then I'll show you the cookie sheet. All right, guys, here we go. So I got seven on each one. So we got breakfast. We have the spicy. We have the andouille, and we have in. Italian fennel sausage for very little money and we did it ourselves we know exactly what's in this sausage the longer it sits the better it's gonna be doesn't matter if it's frozen or not um, so these will be flash froze and then at the very end of this video I will show you what these sausages look like all frozen up and ready to go because these things, these are delicious recipes. If you guys try them, please let, let me know what you guys think. Or add whatever you want to them and make it your own. But definitely try ma making your own sausage. It is so cost effective. Just use whatever you have. 
don't think that you need to run out and buy anything special. If you don't have parsley, then don't worry about it. If you have Italian seasoning, just add that. Same, same principle, right? So do what you guys can do. Here is just another frugal idea for you guys to make your own sausages. And it literally took me, with filming, it took me 25 minutes. And look at all the meals we have for very little money, right? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All recipes will be down in the description um, for you guys and work with it and play with it and do whatever you guys need, need to do with it. And let me know what you guys think. And uh, I think I'm getting sick. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys super, super soon with I have a couple real exciting videos coming up for you guys. So, I'm super excited for you. So, anyways, see you guys later. All right, guys, here is all the sausages, seven in each. There's the breakfast. Here, hidden down there, is the spicy. Then we have the andouille. And then we have the um, fennel, the Italian fennel. All right, guys, that is making homemade sausage my way. You guys do what you need to, you guys want to do with the, with the recipes. Please play with it and make it your family's favorite. I just really wanted to show you, um, we did this whole video in under 20 minutes of making all these different kinds of sausage all at the same time. So one mixer and just keep, keep going. I left the breakfast sausage till last because it's the one that I add the maple syrup in and I didn't want maple syrup in the other recipes but in that case these are going to go out to the big freezer I'm going to get Savannah to run them out for me I'm going to cover this with a bit of saran wrap on the top just to protect it but I will show you guys what it looks like all bagged up and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys try it so frugal guys so frugal and uh let me know down in those comments below what what you guys think if you try it and don't forget all the recipes are down in the description box hope you guys have an awesome day and i will see you guys super soon bye for now